Hey, Steve Waldron here, pastor of New Life Pentecostal Church in Albany, Georgia. We are here with the Chronological Life Application Study Bible. King James Version does come in some other translations, but um, I would guess this is as popular, maybe the most popular translation in this particular study Bible. Wow! That's all I can say. As a matter of fact, years ago, I had told people, I wish they would come out with the Life Application Study Bible in chronological order. And somebody else must have been thinking the same things, and they did. And they just did an outstanding job. Everything from the quality of it, it's not raised letterings or anything, but it is a great color scheme. Even because of the charts, you know, the tops kind of got the color in. You know, you're going to have uh, the Sphinx on here, the Parthenon, maybe sheep. You just got all kind of stuff. So they just hit a major home run with this particular study Bible. I can't speak more highly of it. Now, I'm not going to uh, vouch for every piece of information in here because, but now I will vouch for the text. But for every piece of information that was added to uh, study notes to uh, elucidate the text, lift out the text, that type of thing, not added to the text, you know, as far as adding to Scripture by notes, not the Bible. But uh, that, I, I think, uh, you know, it's just not going to be perfect. But the text itself is, but just amazing map. So chronological survey of the Bible. Here we go, and it is full color. I like the full color Bibles are coming out with. Now, one of the unique things that they've been doing recently, it used to be if it was a full color Bible, that it would be thicker paper, but not necessarily anymore. This is using full color photographs, as you can see, on just regular weight Bible paper. I don't know what this is, probably 34 GSM or something. That is just a guess on my part. I was going to show you what this looked like as well. I thought it was very well done without the, the slip cover. And I'm thinking this is put out by Tyndale. Yeah, it is. There it is. Ha, it's not at the bottom like it normally is. So let's take a little look through here. We're still in the chronological survey of the Bible. This is just a little, I don't know, 15, 20 page section at the beginning that you go from eternity past to eternity future. And, and it's, it's really good. And uh, it's something worth reading. And then a complete biblical timeline. Again, I'm just highly impressed with, with how they did it. I feel like it was excellent. Whoever their design team was just did a great job on this. A tremendous job. So, we'll just keep going. We're to the exile, uh, intertestamental period. Oh, and just great pictures. And, uh, Publisher's Preface to the Authorized King James Version Tyndale Paragraphed Edition. So this is another paragraphed edition. The paragraph breaks for this edition of the KJV were determined by means of several principles. We looked at the tradition of the Cambridge Paragraph Bible of 1873 by F.H.H. Scrivener. And then they just did some other stuff. The Cambridge Paragraph Bible, uh, you know, Norton's deal, I guess. Epistle dedicatory. Now let's look and see who did some of this. The general editor was Keith Williams. Um, senior editorial, editorial team was Dr. Bruce B. Barton, Ronald A. Beers, Dr. James A. Galvin, LaVon Neff, Linda Chafee Taylor, David R. Veerman. Charts and diagrams, personality profiles, it has all this. Uh, Tyndall House Bible Editors, Philip Comfort and uh, Robert Brown, 
book introductions by Dave Veerman. And then it has, okay, whenever you've got a chronological Bible, finding what you want, you know, you just can't turn where you want normally would find Jonah. It's going to be where it's at chronologically in the Bible, not where it is normally in the Bible. So it has a little thing at the front that kind of tells you what page to find each chapter on. It's just necessary in a chronological Bible. It's a necessary thing. Oh, and just it looks like the Dead Sea Scrolls. Now, you come to beginnings. People and culture. Adam and Eve know a language and culture. Let's just take a look at this. Don't know that I've ever seen a finer Bible in this regard. Just in how it grabs, it arrests your attention. It's just excellent. Fantastic. And so you can start at Genesis and read through Revelation. It's what's in between. So like when Isaiah's prophesying, it's going to be in in first and second chronicles and Samuel and Kings are all going to be combined. Micah's going to be where he was actually prophesying. It's just outstanding. And what an idea. Oh, man, and this picture of the universe. And just, here, we'll just show you a little bit. This is how an average page is going to look. You might can tell I would highly recommend this Bible. Now, it's not, you don't want to take this Bible to church with you, probably. This is more a Bible you want to sit on your lap and read or study at your desk or wherever you study, wherever. You got one of those things as you lay in bed and you have it lay across your lap like some folks, you know. I don't know where you study at. This is that kind of thing. This is what you want to be doing. At the top, it's got, it's got the Bible broken down into beginnings, God's chosen family, birth of Israel, possessing the land. And it lets you know the tab you're at. So it's kind of a handy thing in that when you change place in the text, it normally changes places with you. Like it'll give you a map and say, we just went from here to there. Excellent. Eleazar, profile of a true servant. You don't find many character studies on Eleazar. Dinah. God's justice. Jezreel Valley. A very good picture of, of the Jezreel Valley. And uh, Messianic prophecies and their fulfillment. Shepherds and sheep. So it's going to have, you know, archaeology. It's going to have science. It's going to have history. It's going to have uh, linguistics. It's going to have grammar. It's going to have context. It's going to have personality profiles. It's just going to have a, a lot of different things. It's also, it's going to give you some headers, like Jesus washes the disciples' feet. It's going to be in like a lime green, and uh, it's, it's nice, it's readable. It is not red letter. Here's the earliest manuscript of John, Pilate. Now let's just look at this right here. We come to the church has a timeline of the church. This is when you're heading into the book of Acts. And look at this. I mean, so it just does such a wonderful job of showing you how the epistles relate to the church, history, just great mega themes of this particular thing. The missionary journeys of Paul. Uh, cloven tongues like as a fire have pictures of candles. Just really cool looking. Missionaries of the New Testament and their journeys. Philip, Peter, and John. Paul, Peter, Barnabas, Barnabas, Paul, John, Mark. You know, Paulos has all that. Uh, Paul's handwriting. It's got a thing from uh, 
papyri there, Paul's credentials. So, now let's just get to the back. This is, this is just so good. I did want to show you this in Revelation. This is just like some of the things here in Revelation. Hallelujah. Look at that. I mean, I think that's a guy named Timothy Botts. You just don't see that very often. But let's get to the back of the Bible here. And I just had to show you that. That's so cool. Appreciate Brother Mallory here doing that. He does so much more than he knows. Okay, a Christian workers resource. God created you. Just page after page. God, this is word. Mining the treasures of the chronological life application Bible. What to do if you've been asked to speak. Taking the step to application. You know, the Bible's not just for study. If we're hearers and not doers, we've deceived ourselves. So we have to be doers. Then it has like a book by book, like a Haley's Bible handbook or a Wilmington's Guide to the Bible or Unger's. You know, it just it has a book by book overview, which I, I just really thought that was a great added uh, theme in here. And then the concordance is is a readable concordance, not much ghosting, a tad light but uh, a little bigger than most concordances as far as print size. Has a lot on Jesus Christ there. I'm looking at that. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That is good. And then, got a little dictionary concordance section, like under uh, long-suffering, patiently enduring, a provocation. Uh, And good maps. That's a necessarily just spectacular, but good maps. Now, this is a calendar I don't remember seeing in the map section. So overall, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give this five stars. Two thumbs up, as some people would say. Um, no rotten tomatoes. I mean, it's just good. It's it's an excellent study Bible. I think it would really enhance someone's understanding of Scripture, the divine flow of Scripture. Um, in some ways, it may be a good first Bible to read because you're seeing God's unfolding plan of salvation and his love for mankind and his redemption. So just a tremendous Bible. Again, any of the study notes, they're they're not necessarily they're usually hundred percent, but not, you know, can't vouch for that. But uh, <clears throat> Eat the Foods put out the sticks and excellent resource tool. Tyndale did a great job. God bless you today in Jesus' name.